Hello everyone! So I'm doing a little video here to just give you an update of how my 2023 life was and the stuff that I did. I'm late on a lot of the content that I'm publishing so I'll just kind of do a little wrap up of all the different videos that I make here and there here in New York that kind of illustrate my lifestyle and what I do, the concerts, the riding, the hanging out with uh, motorcycle people uh, at the garage. Uh, I have a garage where I keep my bikes. Uh, work, not so much, but I might have a few things here and there. Uh, just, yeah, how it's been living in New York. Uh, that's kind of like my one year wrap up of what happened over the past year in New York, even though I'm getting to two years right now. I'm like, I passed a year and a half. But uh, yeah, I thought it was just a good way to just wrap this all up so let's go check that video and illustrate stuff that I do here and there let's go my activities here in New York it's a little less true in 2024 and late 2023 but it was definitely true uh, over the beginning and uh, most part of 2023 is going to concerts so as you can see here in my channel uh, you should check my other videos the uh, thing about subscribing and basically I do motorcycle road trips concerts and a bunch of different things but motorcycle and motorcycle road trips and concerts are like the thing that I film the most so there's a few concerts that I just took some extra like New York concert that I didn't want to do a full video about but I have some videos here and there so I'm just gonna share that here
another big big part of my content used to be space invaders uh, I, since I am living in the US and the act the artist is mostly active in Paris and Europe in general uh, there's stuff here and there that are happening but I'm not gonna go to California to just like see a bunch of things it's kind of far from New York so every now and then we have people reactivating things so here is a little bit of piece, bits and pieces of me uh, handing out to uh, some reactivations it's kind of really nice to be living here, here in New York because a lot of the pieces have been deactivated so it's like a little piece of street art and they just get removed for a whole bunch of reason and there'll be some teams that are working like in communication with the artists that get the right to put back one since it's New York and the US the art market and the hater whatever people just remove them for a whole bunch of reasons and they don't stay very long especially when they're fresh so living here in New York gets me the opportunity to whenever I see a reactivation I can go and get it so I guess that's one of the perks but another downside of it is that all the new stuff that is being put out uh, I can't really go to Europe every time he reactivate he does something new so I'm just going down the ranking but it's okay it's just for fun so yeah here's a little bits and pieces of me heading to some reactivations having kind of like a mild climate and a whole bunch of different season there are some more seasonal activities uh, some include riding in the fall with beautiful colors and things like that uh, I did a little bit of that so I'm gonna illustrate it over here uh, some is like more winter with some of the winter markets some of the Christmas decorations and uh, every now and then some snowfall so 2023 it wasn't much snowfall this year we're actually getting some decent snowfall but I don't know I haven't really filmed it but I filmed some of it yesterday uh, last year in Times Square and uh, also once the spring is here uh, with Central Park there's a whole bunch of different things me being drawn to Japanese culture I went and checked the Hanami so some of the 
Japanese cherry blossom trees. Here are some footage of all of those kind of things, how illustrating how New York can be very seasonal and different to see at any time of the year. Okay, so crossing Manhattan, getting towards some kind of tunnel somewhere, I don't know. Uh, we have the Empire State Building in sight over there. And yeah, just roaming around. We're not too bad on the time actually because I thought it was 2 p.m. but when I got the bike out and started riding it was only 1.30 so I probably left home closer to 1 than 2 p.m. So that's good and we're just gonna find a way out of the city and get to Hawk's Nest. Turn that Wi-Fi off. Not much to see over here right now. Just gonna cut it up.
the people that I've met and the people that I hang out and the places that I hang out is uh, my motorcycle related uh, circle of friends and it mostly revolves around a garage where I keep my bikes and sometimes we'll organize parties, sometimes the people there organize their own events and things like that so we'll just go for trips here and there, sometimes it's in the city so I did go to one event in 2023 so it's kind of like old but uh, I, I did, took some footage since I wasn't really working there yet uh, and here is some of that footage to illustrate once again what I'm doing, what I'm seeing how I'm spending my time here in New York and having fun. video to kind of catch up with what I have been up to. Uh, the next one is actually a trip to Europe that I did not expect to do but uh, was kind of fun and I'm gonna just make a bunch of videos of a trip to Europe I did last May so as I said uh, most of what I post is late uh, then there's gonna be some stuff from the summer I had a pretty fun summer too but uh, I hope you enjoyed this video that's talking about whatever happened between I guess May of 2023 and May of 2022 or the opposite if you don't like it going backwards and I was fun sharing that with you I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching remember if it's easy it's not funny and see you in the next one